Since I planted my bearded iris October of 2022, by this month June of 2023, it should look like this. Bushy with healthy foliage. But look at this peach sky bearded iris. These have few fans or few leaves and the soil definitely stinks. In today's video, I will show you what to look for to identify bearded iris rhizome rot. This flower stalk is soft and mushy, and if I were to smell it, it's very stinky. So I have to follow all the way down to the base of this flower stalk and check the status of the leaves and the rhizome. This leaf right here is firm, but I still have to take it off to check the integrity of the rhizome. This leaf right here has to go as well. So if we take a close up look of this flower stalk right here, this part here is dark brown and very mushy. So what I gotta do is dig deeper and check the entire rhizome. So if I were to make a decision here, I have to cut all the way down towards the rhizome. So as you can see here, this part here is still soft. If I were to push in the middle, there's some wet spot or some paste that's coming out, which means that I need to cut it all the way down again I may as well cut the rest of the leaves. If we take a close-up look of this bearded iris rhizome, this is the mother rhizome and the rest are the baby rhizomes. These three rhizomes right here are soft, mushy, and it has a foul smell, which means that these rhizomes have a rhizome rot. What happened was, it rained multiple times in our area and it's also gloomy. So the soil didn't get a chance to dry off, which causes the rhizome to rot. So, I will try to save these two new rhizomes right here. I will cut this in half right in this corner and after that, we'll check the quality of these two rhizome, whether or not is it safe to save them or just throw them away. So let's go ahead and cut this in half. Now by the looks of it, this one right here is firm even though it has a light brown color and I think that has to do with the knife that I use I believe that we can save these two rhizomes and for faster production of flowers for next year's bearded iris I'm gonna leave these two together I'm gonna take as much soil as I can and that's because I can see a lot of tiny white insects running around and that has to do with the rhizome rot. When there's a rhizome rot that attracts a lot of bud insects or pests, and I don't want to carry that for the next bearded iris season. So I'm just gonna try to shake it off. Oops, uh-oh. I dropped the other rhizome. What I'm gonna do with these good rhizomes is I'm gonna let them dry for three to five days and then I will replant them in a different location instead of the pot that I was using and also those soil right there I'm gonna get rid of them and that's because I'm seeing a lot of tiny white insects is moving around the surface and I don't like reusing those type of soil 
I let them um, rest in a different location and then eventually will rejuvenate the soil when the right time comes. So these two rhizomes are going to be saved and replanted soon. In a bearded iris, the most lateral leaf is the oldest leaf and the new leaf will grow somewhat in the middle. As you can see here, there's a new leaf that's trying to grow. This one is a new leaf as well, it's still trying to harden off. And if you are to compare that with these two bearded irises, this one by the way is snow melt and the other one is brouhaha. You can already tell that these two bearded irises is experiencing rhizome rot. Why did I say that? That's because a lot of the leaves are turning brown. That's one thing. If you are going to check the base of the fan or the leaves, it's very soft. This should not happen this way in a normal rhizome. Let's check the snow melt. This leaf right here, see how soft it is? Look at the end of this leaf. It's very mushy. This part right here, I may be able to save this rhizome right here. So this one fan right here, or set of leaves, usually the one that's holding this is one or two rhizomes. This other one right here, see those leaves? Those are mushy. So if I were to dig this rhizome right here, see how those leaves are? I should not be able to scrape the leaves like this, which means if I were to take this off, I need to cut the entire rhizome and get rid of it. Because that's the same issue as the other rhizome I showed before. It's very important to let the bearded iris in containers dry off in between watering. And that's because in containers, it takes a long time for these plants to dry off. I am Evelyn and thank you for watching this video.